It's home to Dreaming Spires and a world-class university, but when it comes to farm conferences, Oxford is also a tale of two cities. The Oxford Farming Conference and the Oxford Real Farming Conference share similar names, but that is where any obvious likeness ends. Now in its 67th year, the Oxford Farming Conference is an agricultural institution where the great and good meet every January to discuss the big issues affecting food production. This is agribusiness with a capital B. Farming in this country successfully produces food for 63.5 million people and supports industries that add nearly £90 billion to the UK economy. A short walk down the road and there's a different emphasis. Held at the same time but in a different venue, the Oxford Real Farming Conference was set up four years ago as an antidote to the establishment event. There are no government ministers here. Instead, you'll find farmers brushing shoulders with agri-environmentalists and community activists. I suppose we felt that the established conference wasn't able, because of its structure and its corporate support, to actually go into these more ad radical areas, if you like, uh, biological agriculture. There are other differences too. An all-day ticket for the Real Farming Conference costs just £10. A ticket to attend all three days of its upmarket rival will set you back the best part of a £1,000, including accommodation and meals. You'll be able to dine at Christchurch College, as seen in the Harry Potter films, and take your seat for a debate in the prestigious Oxford Union. But Chairman Mike Gooding says the event is anything but elitist. I think, uh, I, I think the traditional view of the Oxford Farming Conference has been one of, a, a, as you say, a sort of institution. It's not like that at all anymore. This is an industry that's really going places. It's a fantastic time to be farming. And as a result, we find that the people who come along here are the progressive thinkers, the thing, people who are thinking about change and how they might adapt. And most importantly, what we also get along here is people who are doing it, people who are actually doing things on the ground. And the rest of us can learn from their, their inspirational stories. It seems there's something for everyone at Oxford, whatever your field in farming. So, uh, I was talking to a chap uh, yesterday who's actually done, he's a farmer who's diversifying into uh, basically a burial ground on his farm. And uh, he, he was sort of telling me basically sort of, uh, you know, all about it. And I just thought, wow, it's sort of something you've never, as a farmer myself, I would never think of diversifying into something like that. Delegates at the Real Farming Conference say it is equally inspirational. I've got a huge amount of inspiration just sat this morning hearing the first two speakers. Um, I'm, I'm ready to go home and embrace 2013 with the loads of new ideas and, and get cracking with uh, things in farming. Whatever their differences then, it is safe to say that both events have a similar goal, securing a thriving future for agriculture. This is Johan Tasker for Farmers Weekly in Oxford.